Hello, everyone. Welcome to the World Series of Board Gaming's coverage on the 2023 World Series Champion Ring Final of Seven Wonders. My name is Chris George, and I'm here joined by the incomparable Ashton from Shelfside. How's it going, Ashton? Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's a great thing to wake up in the morning to. Yeah, I'm doing good <laughs> and excited to get this three-player commentary going. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'm really excited to have you on board because you're you attended WSBG this year, and uh, your sort of celebrity game people could play <laughs> with you was Seven Wonders. Yes, I did manage to barely win that, but I think my level is not nearly as high as these guys over here. These three, <laughs> they uh, we have a game designer here, so uh, yeah, they're pretty serious. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. And if, if you want to participate in the World Series of Board Gaming, well, tickets are still available for 2024. And if you book before April 1st, you can get in on an exclusive deal. So I want you to get the best deal possible. So here's the ad. You could win your share of $100,000 in cash and prizes just for playing board games. The World Series of Board Gaming is back and bigger than ever. High-level play, friendly competition, national championships, there's no other event of its kind. Are you the next big name in board gaming? Get your tickets now at WSBGVegas.com and use the code IMN to save yourself up to 50 bucks. What are you waiting for? It's time to get in the game. So yeah, book before April 1st. That expires April 1st. Uh, hotels also tend to sell out. We want to make sure that you get the best hotel block uh, as you possibly can. One of the competitors, uh, Matias Viga, who added some extra hotel nights to their stay and uh, stayed and had some fun in Vegas and hung out with people and friends that he made at this event too. I, I ran into a couple of people who were showing me pictures of they went to like the Mafia Museum. So if you want to add any extra hotels too, it's important to book to book now. Uh, but That's why don't cool. we turn it over to the to the players? Yeah, so here we are. We, we see all the players and uh, let's go ahead and introduce them. So we got mm -hmm. Matthias Viga from Germany. And if he looks familiar, that's because he designed yeah, okay. Ark Nova, which is actually his first board game ever designed, which is pretty crazy because that's a super popular game. It's here at WSVG. So you yeah. see him wearing that really nice, colorful sweater. And uh, some lower background information on him is that he used to play competitive MTG in college. So that has a lot of drafting elements. So this is also a fully drafting game. So you can see why he does well. Down the bottom left and corner, it, we have, yeah, go ahead. No, it's also f funny to me that um, Matthias competed also in the Arc Nova tournament, didn't make the finals of Arc Nova, <laughs> but is here sitting in the finals of Seven Wonders. Yeah, that's funny, yeah. It's really good. Uh, we also see he's chosen the leader, Varro. We've cut we've cut out their drafting the leaders, but they played their first leader, each person. He's picked Varro, where he will get a point for every yellow card he plays. Yep. Over to Scott oh. Kushner, has six mm -hmm. coins. And then down Thomas has Nero, which gives him an extra two points for every military uh, point that he gets over the course of the game. Why don't yeah, you tell so us about, about uh, Yeah, we're talking about Ark Nova and Scott, he's from Jersey, and he actually owns a copy of Ark Nova. He likes to play at home with his wife. That, that's pretty funny. So now he's at the same table as the actual designer of the game. Funny how that works out. And then over on the in our third seat, we have newcomer to WSBG, Thomas Tarkington. I believe Scott and Thomas are both, uh, and, and Matthias actually. I think all three of them, they're their first games uh, in the first time they've attended this event, which is pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting to see three new people try their try their luck and uh, and get into the game and make it to this final table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if we go in and look at the leaders they had, uh, as you said, we have Varro for uh, Matthias and Croesus for Scott. Mm -hmm. And uh, so interesting about these is that, oh, now they're off screen, but uh, Croesus, which is Scott's, is really strong early game because you get just like six points early on. So you have a lot of spending power to use. We have the players just talking about uh, formatting in terms of how to, how to determine when things are played. Mm -hmm. so if there yeah. Is a choice, yeah, very important to get the right yeah. drafting system here so it doesn't accidentally have the wrong hand go to the wrong person. And especially, too, you have to indicate in WSPG, you have to indicate what you're going to use your card for before everybody reve reveals. Mm -hmm. And then, and then as Scott is just saying right now, then after you reveal if it's a play, you then assign who you're giving the money to because you're often you're going to be buying resources from your opponents as well. 
which I, I love Seven Wonders at three players. I think this is probably my favorite player count because you have complete agency over your fate. It's not mm -hmm. like there's somebody across the table that you can't touch. You know you're passing to one person or the other, and it really creates a really tight, nice game. Yeah, I think that makes the adjacency for bonuses really fun because normally mm -hmm. your neighbors could be just two people out of the seven. Now it's everyone sitting next to you. So we're going to have to yeah. keep an eye out for the cards that target yourself and also your neighbors because that's every single player in the game. Yeah. So we have so the think, first yeah. cards being dropped here. Uh, Thomas starting out strong with getting one of those military. That's a pretty huge thing in the three-player game. Mil mm -hmm. Military becomes pretty important in three-player because you know that uh, you are having a direct negative impact upon your opponents as well as giving yourself positive points. It's yeah, not as... Just... Mm -hmm. Yeah, not as strong to worry about in the first age because you only net sort of one point. But as you go further along, it becomes more and more powerful. Yeah, this goes really well with his hero, uh, not a hero, his leader, Nero, because he gets mm -hmm. a 2 VP every time he gets a token, a token being also a war token. So it does actually really well in the first age as well because normally it'd be one point. Now you're getting two extra points on top of that. Yeah, if we go to Scott, so his first one was, uh, I believe, some marketplace to buy things from people next to him which yep. goes perfectly with his leader because now he has six money. So he'll be spending more money, not having to worry about resources. Yeah. Generating a, resources himself. A really, a really strong combo from Scott as well. And Matias going for a pretty solid opening play. Whenever you get uh, one of those resources that gives you either or those mm -hmm. slashes yeah. are fairly important. Yeah, that's a great investment. Yeah. I'm um, just going to go back to uh, Scott's pyramid of Giza there because you see he has four mm -hmm. wonder steps. So he's probably going to be looking to do one of those early game as in the first age, because the first age cards are weaker. And if you can get those wonder built, wonder steps built, it's really good for progress. So, oh, look at that. Tom is going for another wow. round of combat. Yeah. That's, that's pretty deep in there. It's that's a players. very strong opening from Thomas. Uh, nobody else will be able to beat Thomas in this age for military. And then the mm -hmm. next military cards that come out will have two military symbols on them, which yes. uh, it, it would tie Thomas. So Thomas taking off into an early lead. Nobody playing the uh, the wonder in which they get military on their board either. So Thomas mm -hmm. firmly ahead in those point swings. But uh, mm -hmm. Scott and Matthias just focusing on building their engines, getting those resources locked down. And Matthias going for glass as well, which isn't on his wonder, which mm -hmm. sort of indicates that he might try to go for some science down the line because science okay. generally tend to use those gray resources. Mm. All right. Yeah, so now Thomas, you see, he, he's he's done with war. I, I don't know if I would go double war early on because mm -hmm. now it, it puts him in a position where if he sees any war cards, he just can't take them. It's just kind of a waste. So yeah, so yeah. you see, he's going, he's going a... An iron there. Mm -hmm. um, and TS up top. Yeah, so far pretty standard openings from all of them. Uh, I think Scott just wanted to get that one, the one war card just against Matthias to put a little pressure on him. Yep, and that one war card can make the difference later on down the line. Even if Thomas is taking out everyone, if Thomas is gobbling up all of the war cards and mm -hmm. Scott can just stay ahead of Matthias, that's also really beneficial for Scott. He could turn that one point. Uh, that one card into, you know, eight points against Matthias. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you look at Thomas's uh, starting wonder here, uh, the Statue of Zeus in Olympia, mm -hmm. so his first age actually just lets him purchase raw materials. So that is a marketplace in of itself, essentially. So he doesn't have to worry too much about drafting that. And uh, what do you know? He just drafted a marketplace. Okay. <laughs> Well, I think uh, he's actually on side B. All of the players are playing on side B of their okay. their wonder boards. And so um, this being the, the second edition as well, uh, Th Thomas will be able to play uh, one card for free without, uh, at the end of the age, I believe, without paying for it. Oh, well. I see, I see. Okay, I, yeah. You're, I believe you're that's what that one is. Yes, I have uh, the wrong diagram in front of me. Yeah, you're, you're correct. Uh, and I think, well, because I think because I was looking at that that exact diagram maybe right before <laughs> we started. <laughs> I uh -huh. told you about it. Um, but uh, yeah, Scott having just straight points over with Giza and then Matthias having a nice blend of points and uh, coins as well. Mm -hmm. Matthias yeah. not getting access to any of those yellow cards, though, um, hoping maybe later on to get his leader to make good. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, he is a very, very safe opening, I would say, for Matias, right? Mm -hmm. all, basically all sorts of resource generation. Yeah, and just having that flexibility. Yeah, Scott has a pretty even spread so far. I don't think he's been using his marketplace too much. Uh, yeah, look at that. Just raw points. Scott going for those raw points, which uh, is is interesting. Those raw points can also allow Scott to build things for free. His marketplace is not necessarily in the best position for Scott because it's pointed at Thomas and Thomas is pointed at him. Both, both each other, they both want each other to build up resources so that they can get it for cheaper. Okay. Matthias, I saw Matthias, Flash. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's yeah. going to get one of every resource. So Matthias having his eyes mm. on that palace wow. already okay. in age three. Yeah. Mm. I wonder how that would feel in the, such a final moment, uh, like the finals game of having one of every resource, but you're behind on point generation. Mm -hmm. well, Scott has very, very balanced board. Thomas has basically fallen aggro, which aligns perfectly with his Nero. Yeah, and I think they're... Yeah. Uh, Oh, they're doing end of end of age stuff. Okay. They're doing end of end of age. So yep. Thomas picks up two points for military, which is actually yes. uh, six points, I believe, because of his Nero yes. boosting that by two. Mm -hmm. um, as long as it was by two and not by one, as long as I'm not remembering correctly, Scott gets a point and loses a point, so nets zero for that play. And Matthias gets to minus two, but Matthias has built one aspect of his wonder, has a bunch of coins and has one of every resource. Um, yeah, I really like Scott's Scott's board. You can see nobody going for science. Yes. And I think that's very important to recognize that science is often very powerful in this game, but also in a three-player game, I guarantee you that those two wonders that people have, have buried are science symbols. People know the power and uh, they know how strong it is. Okay, yeah, let's talk about the leaders we have. So Matthias, Cleopatra, very, very good card, just flat five points. I mean, why not? Five points, four money, yeah. pretty good trade-off. Then for Sky, he took Imhotep, which rewards him for building Tears of His Wonder, which is perfect because he has four Tears of His Wonder as opposed to three. And yeah, I believe Scott absolutely. Thomas is just, just doubling down on that war strategy. He has Alexander there, which gives him an extra point for victory tokens. So yeah. For victory tokens. Yeah, my, my apologies. Nero, Nero is actually two coins. Oh, two um, coins, okay. Yeah, two coins. I was saying it as points, but you get two coins. That's how Thomas is going to depend on getting that income coming in, and then now also getting Alexander, which gets him an additional point. So not so four mm -hmm. points there yeah, for yeah. those war tokens instead of those six, but still a really strong military. You can see why Thomas went military right off the bat, clearly mm -hmm. drafted those leaders, um, which which is important to, to, to recognize. It's also important to recognize that the players uh, have been able to keep track of most of everyone's leaders, right? You've <laughs> seen it in a draft, and so you know what people have potentially in their hands. And uh, unless uh, Thomas, somebody should have seen at least one of those military cards and known that it, that it disappeared and that they didn't take it. So players probably have a way to combat that or are planning to, but I guess we'll remain, we'll have to see as we uh, head into the second age. Okay. Yeah, thank you. That's a very good catch. Yes, it's two coins instead of two VP for Nero, because we're saying two VP for Nero a lot, and that would be very yeah. good. Yeah. But that actually works <laughs> that out for Thomas. Be... Get, yeah, get, yeah. <laughs> get him some money here. I get going. Which is good, because Thomas had to pay uh, a little bit of change to, to be building all of his stuff. I think Matthias has a lot of money. I think it's just stacked. Because people, I think, have been paying Matthias mm -hmm. for for resources. Okay. Yeah, although, I like how Scott and Thomas will try to pay each other if they can. I like how every single player has their own little strategy going. Like the lines are very clearly drawn. Matthias is going for just a very resource generation, fairly conservative approach. Scott is very balanced, and Thomas is full on in combat. Yeah, I... Mm-hmm. So this will be their first um, tier two card. I think they're still. Yep, yeah, they're on to age two. We just saw a flash okay. of Matthias's hand filled right, with okay. blue cards and yellow cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, he's getting that change. Okay. So Matthias, I currently has four money, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So not as much as oh. we might have expected. Oh, Matthias actually had a yellow card. That would have given him money for each um, brown card, but mm -hmm. 
but he decides to opt to build that as his wonder instead. And wow, Thomas passes Matias. What a hand, what an opening hand that Thomas had. All three military <laughs> in the same hand, yeah. which is so good for Thomas because he mm-hmm. knows that's going to come back to him. He mm-hmm. knows that at least one of those military is going to come back to him no matter what. And so puts the pressure on the other players. That is a huge get for Thomas at this stage in the game. That's nice. Yeah, I think it really, uh, really lessens his stress because he knows that, okay, well, I, I know that Matias is probably going to take one of the Browns. If he takes a red, I still kind of win because mm-hmm. that's my strategy. I'm just going hard on red. Yeah. Yeah, look at that, Matias. He's not sure what to do with those reds over there on the top. Matias yeah, so, is- yeah. It's a bit interesting because he's got one of everything, but he still needs to purchase resources from other players. Everything <sighs> requires some things require more than one resource. I mean, the mm-hmm. one of the military ones requires three stone, right? Which mm-hmm. so it seems like he's got a good setup, but maybe it's not as strong as uh, it's not as strong as as viewers might think. I see. Would it be because it's good for building his wonders because he's wonder steps because he's already two of the three steps, which is yeah amazing. Yeah, that's true. He needed that that loom, that pink card, mm-hmm. uh, and still needs one one more ore, is what I I call it. I think that's what it is. Um, mm-hmm. One more. I think it's two ore and a loom to build that third step. But yeah, I, would, I suspect yeah. that Scott is going to build at least two tiers of his wonder this this round. He wants to get the Imhotep going. You don't want to be building two tiers of the, your wonder in H three when things are so tight, especially with the warfare guy going around attacking you. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I'm excited to see him do that. Um, and uh, Matias is still just pondering that that <laughs> that one combat card. Well, it's tough, right? If he if he takes it, if he builds it, right now, Scott builds one, Thomas builds one. They've essentially all netted zero. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I mean that helps Thomas at the end of the day because he wants them to drag down their engines and get to his level. Mm-hmm. And. I think Matias is still, he's decided to go for it. Yeah, seems like he's going for it, deciding he who he's going to pay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even I've been paying you for stuff, so, uh, yeah, this, okay. uh, I need to... He's got to pay up. Okay. All right, he pays Scott for the clay, or as I like to say, brick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's really the same thing. I've got the two gold, I'm paying for your... Uh, oh, class. so we got that... Is that the first uh, green uh, science? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Thomas, so Thomas making that decision, yeah. Yeah, so warfare and science. What what a what a civilization it is, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you got Using the Roman the science, Greek, yeah. <laughs> to <Euro> create. Alexander. <laughs> With the warfare comes science. <laughs> It does look like Scott Scott is just raking in the money. Scott uh, mm-hmm. does play that where he gets a coin for every brown symbol, which I'm really surprised Matias didn't end up paying for. Uh, Matias, I think, buried the variable um, gray card, wanting everybody to pay him for the gray cards. He's the only person who has gray. He's going to be relying on that as his source of income. Uh, and so I think that's what that choice was all about. Mm, but Scott nice. having just such a dominant dominant coin lead yeah it's incredible i think that one card drop got him four four gold right because it counts for all his neighbors resources yeah and his own so six oh, and his own okay yeah wow that's yeah he is so he's he's set for money <laughs> he's good to go we'll see if scott follows suit and builds that military he does okay he does putting the power back to Thomas. Like, this is just such a good military position for Thomas. It's an auto-draft into that next card. He doesn't even have to look at the hand. Mm. He knows he wants to keep winning that military. Okay. Yeah, for Scott, this is perfect for him. He's one up over Matias. He doesn't have to worry about warfare anymore. He knows Thomas yep. is going to... He's He has to win this round, right, because of his leaders. Okay, Matias thinking about uh, some raw points. Just going for points. Well, otherwise he takes a gray resource, which you don't really need two of the gray resources ever. Yeah. So it's really overkill. Yeah. Well, what do you think about him making that third tier of his wonder? Is it possible for him to build? Uh, it is possible right now. He just has to pay two coins to Thomas in order okay. to do it. I just feel like I feel like it's it's it gives him some coins, but it also 
stops him from being able to to hate draft something later on down the line. I feel in age three, that's where like a lot of the major point things are. And mm-hmm. if you can't build it, you want to turn that sometimes into your wonders so that your opponents can't build it, right? And so I'm worried about mm-hmm. Matthias's sort of clogging up that wonder. Um, mm. Okay. Well, you can always discard a card for three gold, right? You can, yeah. Okay. But it's a little bit weaker than building a wonder. Yeah. A little bit weaker. You're essentially getting one point out of it. And in the last age, you want to be getting... I mean, the palace is worth eight points, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. if you can match that eight points as your goal with every card you pick, mm-hmm. that's the that's the target. Or at least sort of four to five points per card. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, and just as you predicted, Thomas, he's just playing that double red. <laughs> yeah. Double combat. And yeah, these are the last ones. Pretty easy to make a decision there. Yeah, what would you think, uh, Thomas? Do you think he's doing well right now? Because currently all his points are basically in military. Yeah, it's true. I mean, Scott Kushner does have that six-point bump with blue, which is nothing to sneeze at, uh, and is also gaining points from military on Matthias. So it's... It's really tough between the two of them right now. I, I feel the military does play such a huge factor in the uh, in a three-player game. Mm-hmm. But then again, Matias has just played that that five-point uh, Cleopatra right yeah. as as the leader, and so kind of makes mm-hmm. up for that too. So it's it's pretty hard to say right now. I think I would be scared of that science if Thomas is able to take off with right. science and uh, military. That mm-hmm. feels very scary but generally you have to invest in science from from the get-go or have something like halicarnassus where you can just take cards from the discard pile and right right uh-huh. and hopefully take all the science that nobody has wanted to invest in mm-hmm. okay well matthias is really surprising me he has so many browns it's quite yeah. incredible i guess it's just to get his third step of his wonder he just doesn't want to pay up later on it's true, but with the amount of money that Scott has, also Thomas doesn't look like he has any money, and so might be starting to block yeah. himself out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I really like Scott's position right now, just loading up a little bit more on those blue cards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, as Scott's position is very balanced. It's very safe. Um, he's he's built his second tier of his wonder, which is pretty mm-hmm. good timing for this stage of the game. Yep, nothing but points yeah. there. Yeah, I, I think Imhotep is a really good leader, too. I mean, you're going to complete your wonder yeah. steps, and you're just getting additional points on top of it. Yeah. yeah. Which, as Giza, you just walk away with 24 <laughs> points in your wonder. Yeah. Like, yeah, for incredible. four cards, average six points a card, that's a pretty good return on investment. Yeah. Okay, so Thomas, he built his second tier of his wonder. It is uh, updated, I believe, Statue of Zeus. And so now he can build something for free, right? I think oh, no, sorry, that's additional points, I, I believe. Yeah, I think I think he discounts a resource of one of his. Thomas saying that he can't pay anything, so he actually. Oof, that's a hard, that's a hard discard for Thomas. Thomas forced to do that discard for three coins. Oh, as it gets yeah. around to him. Yeah, and that's Matthias just. Not paying him, he's just funneling money to Scott more, right? Scott mm-hmm. already has so much money. Yeah, that's that's really tough. A nice yeah. a nice final get from Scott. A really nice final get from Scott because Scott needs that stone to complete the last stage of his wonder, mm-hmm. and he's able to get that two stone card as his last card. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> okay, so end around going off. Yeah, Thomas wins every combat <laughs> as we expected him to yeah he gets the alexander perks on top of that i think that'll be scored end game yeah, and scott comes second place on that mm-hmm. so now they're deciding their final leader to place and i believe in h3 we'll start seeing the guilds right which are the purple ones it should be exciting. yeah there are five guilds that are shuffled into h3 uh out of a possible 10 and then i believe leaders adds in a couple extras as well it feels like mm. I love how we can see Matthias's hand and we can't see the others, so it's like Matthias yeah. is like top of mind for me. Oh, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice having that little that little uh, 
key into uh, his potential uh, decision making oh, space. Oh, yeah. oh. Okay, so now they're giving the discard leaders to their judge, I believe? Yep. Okay. Because you only get to play three leaders, but you have a hand of four. Okay, oh, here we go. Oh, okay. So I believe we got Imhotep incorrectly. So Imhotep gives you a discount on buying Wonder Steps, and right. now this one gives you actual points. So this is the busted one. Let's go. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, and two points incredible. each. That's yeah, incredible. So, yeah. that's so 28 points average seven points per Wonder, <laughs> mm -hmm. which is really huge. Not only can you hate draft things away from your opponents as Giza with the extra Wonder Steps, but you you're now getting. Scott will get seven points and then nine points for his next card. Also with that double stone play, that's huge. Pericles giving Matthias points for military cards, trying to make that switch. I, I don't, I don't know if I quite understand that. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, think he's <laughs> he's banking on Thomas maybe giving up on red and going for green. Yes, you did. I did. But you sure did. I did not start with that. I promise. And then I think we saw Solomon. He used his. Uh, so yeah, like, Thomas used Solomon to grab uh, one yeah, of the science cards from this card. Yeah, so that that is his pivot. And I, think, yeah, I, I was like, I figured it get hate oh. after that. Yeah, I should have. Yeah, I, that is quite bold yeah. from Matthias. I was not expecting that pivot. <laughs> well, even the players just talking now too about uh, Thomas saying, "Yes, I gave you Amethyst, hoping that you would hate draft it away from Giza." Uh. <laughs> not. And Matias said, no, I've never seen that card in my life. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, man. Hmm. Okay, so I, I'm i really curious to see how much, how much science Thomas will get. This is very exciting. Yeah. So now he's banking on science, and Matias is banking on war. And I mm -hmm. guess he can pay for whatever he wants, because he has uh, ridiculous amounts of resources. So it's the original direction, yeah? Yeah, and... Yeah, and they'll be they'll be drafting clockwise as well. So he knows he's going to hand Thomas a military card. Uh, Matthias looking at two military cards in his hand as our player focus uh, card camera is catching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but also has that palace, and so wants I think wants to look around to see if anybody's going to be able to buy that palace or if he can go military first, because I think he knows if he gives away that hand with two military, he's not seeing them. Uh yeah, that is that is rough. I mean, it just feels bad to give eight VP flat eight VP away to others. <laughs> and yeah. I'm sure Scott can pay for it if he wants to. Yeah, Scott Scott's got a pretty nice generation, uh, has has coverage, but would have to pay six dollars to Matias because it requires one of each okay. um, of the uh, gray cards as well. So, mm -hmm. I think that's Matias's only play is to go military and hope the palace comes back to him and hope hope it's enough. Mm. Okay. So you, you're thinking that both of them will pick. Okay. Wow, that's seven points. Seven wow. points for Scott. Amazing. Uh, seven points for Thomas <laughs> with that science play. Uh, oh, okay. And, and also could be ten points for Matthias if the if no one were to build another military, but I I can almost assuredly guarantee that somebody will. Yeah, so we have all the guilds in one hand. You see that wow. on top for Matthias? Yeah. That's hilarious, yeah. <laughs> I see the science guild yeah. there. I see maybe the uh, the brown card yeah, guild, which Thomas... Workers which, guild, right? Yeah, that'd be huge for Thomas. But then Thomas has to decide between that and another science symbol. I think Thomas getting that set of three science might be the only science we see him invest in. Is that enough? I I'm curious. It's only ten points. Start, yeah. Yeah, playing some blues. Yeah, the the yeah. dominant amount of blue on Scott's side of the board combined with Giza yes. feels like it's a <laughs> it's a pretty uphill battle, but Thomas will have a lot of military strength points and will get an additional I'm assuming six point bump from his leader as well mm -hmm. to to counteract that. A really nice yeah. use of Solomon, I think. Knowing I think that was probably why Thomas pivoted knowing that he was going to play Solomon in the final final age and knew that he could scoop up an easy science symbol and then find the matching set. Yeah. That, uh, that it's, it's good. Yeah, it's just I don't know if they can get enough blues to really turn the tide against Scott. His wonder mm -hmm. by itself is just so good. You're just getting so much value. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, Matthias I think wishing he hate drafted yeah. that now. <laughs> I think Matthias has to take one of the guilds. Right? Okay, so I uh, oh. oh, okay. He's grabbing a, a okay. six-point yeah. blue. It's That's good, yeah. It's a tough decision. <sighs> it's it, it feels like it'll be hard for Matthias to come back in at this point. I feel like it's down to Scott and Thomas. Hmm. But hey, we got the benefit of seeing most of Matias's cards, so we're still yep. going to be talking about them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, he's just deciding who to pay there, I guess, at the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have you seen many greens? I, 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 don't, I don't think I have. I think they're in the hand with the guilds. I saw like two, mm. two in there, and there's also the science guild. So Thomas, this will be the decision from Thomas. Thomas didn't end up taking that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we, we were waiting for the reveal. I said, "Where is the? Where is that military <laughs> card?" Wow. Thomas locks that in. Yep. Oh, and Scott gets a mm. guild that, of course, gives him additional <laughs> points for yeah. building wonders. That is incredible. It is so incredible. <laughs> yeah. So I believe it's one VP for every worker, a wonder step achieved by everyone. Yeah. So if it's we add that up. It's going to be 10 points. Yeah. Huge <laughs> guild for Scott. Yeah. Just, and then also yeah. a really savvy play. He forces Matias to make the decision to take that last three level military, uh, either to beat Thomas or to let Thomas extend the lead. If you hear Matias saying the distribution is <laughs> annoying, it really is. So I'm curious when Scott's going to be able to finish those wonder steps, though, because the game is coming to an end and there you need two actions to build that. It's true, but just his final two, his final just, two turns. That's all he needs. You see, he's already put yeah. his money out to pay for it. <laughs> uh, okay. So Three dollars to buy one from uh, Thomas and two from oh, Matthias. Oh, and there's there's that wonder right there. <laughs> if I was Scott right now, I'd be feeling so good. You know, the game's yeah. about to wrap up. There's only two more, <laughs> two more actions, three more actions. Just build those wonder steps. And and Matias's play actually is is music to Scott's ears. He wants Matias to take points away from Thomas, and that's exactly what he's just done. Is Matias contesting warfare? Is that what you mean right now? Yeah, You're yeah. Tied? Matias, uh, I think he has it. He has it with eight. I think Thomas has uh, seven with three, wow. two, one, one. Oh. That is so, awful for Thomas. He's not getting his leader perks, and this is the rounds to get the, the warfare wins. Yeah. Yeah. I think so a, have, really, uh, a really savvy savvy play by Scott to ignore the five points uh, that he could have gotten off of Matthias with playing that card. Instead, playing that wonder, getting more, and letting Matthias do his dirty work for him. I think that's a really nice play. Yeah, I think it happened to work out really well in Scott's favor that Matthias's and Thomas's their leader pivots kind yeah. of counter each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't really counter building somebody's wonder. Scott's already has those building blocks in place, especially yeah. with that four stone get. Mm -hmm. He just needs two dollars, which he has which to he pay to Matthias. Has. Yeah, it's just he he got all those wonders. They're they're pretty unchecked for all the bonuses, and he's just cruising along. Yeah. Just a second. Yeah, Matias. <laughs> Matias has just said, uh, "Just a second. He's uh, he's thinking hard there. And I think we can also deduce that um, Scott has buried the palace as part of his wonder. His third stage in his wonder is the palace, since we haven't seen it come back to Matias. And I believe it wow. would be in this hand. I see. Yeah, you'd so. be getting just as much points by yeah. building the wonder, right? You don't have to pay for the, the additional expenses. Yeah, and he knows he can't build it. And so, mm. again, talking about that hate drafting, which making sure that, that Matthias gets a little a little fewer points. Mm -hmm. um, I, okay. oh. Unless that's a palace in the hand right now. But I think it's a five cost, yeah. Uh, yeah, see, Scott's pointing out he gets his discount from oh, his right. previous leader. Yeah, so he doesn't yep. even need to pay the coins. Ah, that's incredible. Incredible. Seven points just like that. Seven points with the perks. Mm -hmm. 
Now, Thomas, he gets a bunch of money and points for wonder steps. Yeah, for everyone's wonder. This is a solid card. My magical side. Oh, I mean, I'm the only one doing any science. Two more cards? Yeah, that's true. He just said he's the only one doing any science. He's the only green on the board. Yeah. And he'll get at least one science left, but it'll not be enough uh, to make a difference between doing his wonder instead. Not a great final hand for Matthias. We see two two science symbols and a guild and no wonder spaces to put it. Mm -hmm. I think he just takes the guild. It just seems like... Well, the guild's just a science symbol, so they're all the same. Oh, they're all oh, that. It's a science it symbol yeah. of your choice, yeah. And I don't know if that would really deny Thomas that much, because if you look at the other greens in his hand, it's the same symbol. <laughs> like, they're already symbols yeah. that Thomas wants. You either sell the card or you play the card. If he can play it for free, he'll probably play it, just to... Mm -hmm. It feels a little bit more satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's rough for Matthias, yeah. And there is one more turn left after this one. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, Matthias throws it away, gets the three. Yeah, gets the money. Uh, ooh, yeah, that is rough for Matthias. I, I feel him. It sucks to be in the last age and just have to discard to get three money. Yeah. Yeah, Matthias' first leader, having gotten no points for yellow, basically useless. Hmm. There's the Science Guild, which at least would give him three points. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we know Thomas is going to play whatever's cheaper. Uh, or <laughs> will will build his wonder. He's doing that calculation right now. Basically, if he plays one of those science symbols, he gets three points. If he build his, builds his wonder, he gets five that. points. I was going to say, uh, it's fortunate. No, I didn't like it as a start. <laughs> but, but you never know. You never know if you're there. Yeah, player's talking about... Uh, Matthias is yellow. They were hearing us. They were overhearing yeah. us. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> this is all. Uh, yeah. They they can hear us from the commentary booth, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we gotta we gotta keep our voices down. We're back <laughs> yeah. to the outcome of this game. Okay. Guild's coming out for Matthias. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wonder play. And, oh and my six goodness. Point How play did he from get Scott? that? Incredible. <laughs> so wow. many points. Wow. Yeah. I think is that is that end game? Is that what Matthias is showing? Wow! Anything? Yeah, it's that's the end of the game. He yeah. said, "All oh, your technology's over here of what you can build." Matthias gets his ten points though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that five point swing might actually really make the difference for, between uh, Scott and Thomas. But I, I think Scott feels like he's far and ahead away. Yeah, with points, all the blue and all the. Wonder all the steps. Wonders. Yeah, plus the guild on top of it. Wait, yeah, it's what, what, really what? nice. Okay, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, my, my, we're, uh, we're discussing this card. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. just my victory versus you gave me two coins. Yes, 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 two yes, coins yes. pushed me from seven to... Yeah. Everybody okay. happy with the final board? No, but... Uh, <laughs> making sure the money is okay. Right. <laughs> Not too bad. Your wonder card. I wonder I've got all the build for ten points. Mm. So everybody completed their full wonder. Yeah. Every Which three helps three Scott hilariously enough because of his guild. <laughs> so what what is the conversion money to points again? Uh, for every three, you get one point. Okay. Yeah, I see. So that that final that final uh, final decision to discard a card for one point essentially by Matthias does not feel good. This card for three coins. It's yeah. For one point essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, count your civilian cards, everyone. Yeah, oh, wow, look at Scott's. It's it's incredible. <laughs> your commercial card yeah, wow. 23 with Scott. Uh, one, two, three, four, right, so Scott's sitting at 51 outside, just with those blue and the wonder alone, <laughs> with the with the leader combo. Wow. 
So that one set of uh, science is worth 10 points, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, solid eight points from Thomas. Great guild for him. Uh, okay, now they're doing Thomas's Nero calculation. Sorry, not Nero. <laughs> it's Alexander. Um, yeah. yeah. Matias picking up some points on there, but now we're going to do the final score tabulation. We see our Josh and the, our, our, our Judge Josh. Well, I mean, Clay Fetcher's a very good one, too. Yeah, no, but yeah, 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 I'm yeah. sure I will finish this one. Right, right. If you right. have that, then I will even accept them. So, sorry. All right, you ready? Here we go. So, yeah. Thomas. All right. 10, 3 is 13, and 12 is 25, 29, 7 is 36, 6 is 46, 8 is 50. Fifty-nine for Thomas. Okay. Yeah. It's confirmed. Scott's. Uh, Forty-six. Three is forty-nine. Seven is fifty-six. Plus eight is sixty-four. Sixty-four for Scott. Pretty high, yeah. Oh. And that 52 ish or two. something like that for Matthias, but it doesn't matter. That is it. <laughs> Scott Kushner. <laughs> we hear the players doing a, a debrief. Uh huh. Yeah, Matthias is like, oh, I, this is so good. <laughs> this combination is really, really good. really wasn't the same just and was just stupid. But the difference is four. So he would have uh, three less, and I would have. Uh, one yeah, the decision uh, yeah. to give Amethyst. Yeah, so even if yeah. that had happened, it would not have changed the order. Still so would have been 61 for Scott. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think, yeah. I, I understand why it's a Cleopatra. It's just such a good early game. Like, it's just like, why would you not yeah. take it, right? Yeah. yeah, but I think he's realizing now that, oh, with the Pyramids of Giza, I think you should just take the... Uh, yeah. So I saw the... Uh, well, well, I, I yeah. I can dig for one later. I was a little worried because you had you were going armies early. I knew you had the bonuses on the armies. I'm like, oh, well, and I wasn't catching up to you. And then when you started getting science, I'm like, oh, if he makes a run on science and he can't stop that, yeah, Scott recognizing that. Yeah, that, was, that was definitely a concern. Mm -hmm. A very close right. game. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But congratulations goes to <laughs> Scott Kushner mm -hmm. coming in yes. with 64 points. That's a wild. There were a couple really clutch plays by Scott. I mean, mm -hmm. Scott getting six points at the very end, that was huge. Um, yep. Scott. I think I think Scott's best play was when he passed Matthias that third uh, and final military in the third age, knowing that Matthias had just dropped his leader. He's hungry for those military cards. It's almost an auto pick by Matthias. And then he took down Thomas by exactly the points that he needed. If Thomas had gotten <laughs> a military card uh -huh. and, and Matthias didn't, then Thomas gets an extra five points and doesn't lose a point. So actually a six point swing, six point. which would, would have would have put him up on top since Scott won by five points. So I think like that right there was the winning play, reading your opponent and making them do what you want them to do. That was yeah, that was quite the game. Oh, yeah, that's that pretty intense. Yeah, I, that that uh, that guild pickup at the end really got really got me going. That was oh, exciting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah some oh. huge swings. Mm -hmm. Some really yeah. huge swings. Like it really, it really could have been anybody. And Matias came in uh, with, uh, like, had a really good third age as well. Mm -hmm. Managed to pick up a lot more points, getting into that sort of fifty-one area. We, you know, not as far off as, uh, as it might have seemed with that first leader play, not getting any points with the yellow. Yeah, I do really like that. Even though everything went well for Scott, right? He had mm -hmm. Imhotep. He had. Uh, Emma Tice, and then yeah. you have Pyramids of Giza and the Guild. The game is still actually rather close. So yeah, yeah. it really shows you yeah. how good these players are, right? They they played 100%. their fair share of three player seven wonders. Yeah, 
And what's what's yeah, that should be that should be stated, shouted off the rooftops to get to this point, to get to a final table in the World Series of Board Gaming. That is a huge accomplishment. All of these players are really good. They know as soon as they get their second hand, they know what's in the third hand coming their way. <laughs> right. They, they're at that level yeah. where they just know the cards and they know what's there. And when they don't see it, they know what people have hate drafted and what people are prioritizing defending as well. And so it was really fascinating to watch those decisions. And also those decisions happened so lightning quick that it was hard for us to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, it was very fun to commentate. Uh, I'm, uh, Oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm shaking a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and um, that will be, at least for a little while, the the final uh, Seven Wonders event at the World Series of Board Gaming. There's always a little bit of cycle that happens in, in World Series. And so Seven Wonders, Patchwork, and Gaia Project have been removed, and they've been replaced with Heat, Earth, and Lost Ruins of Arnak. Ah. So if you want to... Uh, up your game if you're like, thank goodness, those were not my games. I couldn't compete at such blazing speed as these Seven Wonders champions. Well, don't worry, because you can come in with blazing speed of Heat or Earth <laughs> or Lost Runes of Arnak. You can get your tickets to uh, the World Series at WSBGVegas.com. Uh, Ashton, any final thoughts? Any more final thoughts? This was a fun game. Yeah, that was a fun game. I think I... I want to play the game with leaders more. It looks yeah. really fun. This extra level of drafting is super exciting. And yeah. I've always thought of Seven Wonders as a really good, like, five, six-player game. But honestly, this three-player variant, or three-player mode, not variant, yeah. has really yeah. impressed me. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I love it because you you have that control, right? You have that battle for the military. Uh, and mm -hmm. leaders is just so, so easy to implement as well. And fun fact is the leaders box is a very small box, but you can fit the entirety of Seven Wonders and leaders in that box. That's what I've done with my with my copy. Uh -huh. um, and I've just added, I've taken out less tokens, just a little less money. So you might run out of money, but but it all fits perfectly. It's like a perfect travel, travel size game. Whip it out wherever solid drafting game uh that's i'm thrilled that uh, that i have it shrunk down to that size as well it's easier yeah. to take places how many times have you played seven wonders you feel like you know every card in and out <laughs> <laughs> i've played it a few times while i put it on board game arena it's also so uh, so okay. easy to play on board, board game arena as well uh just easy to to play a quick game without mm. uh too much waiting uh shout out to bga for giving every winner of the uh the the rings uh, and the semifinalists, whoever came in second, they got a subscription, a premium subscription to Board Game Arena. So shout out mm -hmm. to our friends there. Uh, and also shout out to Ashton from Shelfside. If you're not following or subscribed to Shelfside, you should go over and do that right now. Great creates great in-depth reviews, great board game content, and uh, I can hype you up so you don't have to hype yourself. <laughs> up. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I mean it's been it's been an honor uh, shoutcasting you with you, commentating for this because Seven Wonders is. Honestly, the def is really impressive, especially once you throw on the leaders. I was yeah. impressed how well you know the cards inside and out. I couldn't ask for a better uh, commentary partner. Ah, uh, you charmer. Well, <laughs> if you uh, if you feel, I know we got some, we had some slight hiccups, and I know that there are board gamers out there who know Seven Wonders better and who know some of these games better. And to you, I say, I look forward to seeing you all compete in Vegas and bring mm -hmm. home the crown, bring home the win, and the twenty five thousand dollar grand prize. Ooh, yeah. Uh, so thanks, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you later. All right, bye-bye. That felt pretty good.